Hi, there was a query on how to manage work and life, work life balance how to do. So this was the, the point that came into query. Are they independent of each other? Do they have any bearing on each other? Or should I that I am giving more time to work and I don't have time for my own life? Is that the complaint you have? Say for example, I need to work 9 to 5 only, then I should focus on my the personal things. If at all you have these kind of concepts, go through this video. Life should have bearing on the work and the reverse is not possible, should not be there. Meaning, when you are working, you work to the fullest extent possible and when it comes to the life, you have to give your 100% to that also. How to do that? I don't have a time, sir. No. When I hear this statement, time is a factor which has to be decided and it is uh, definitely depending on your determination towards it. I've been going through a book called uh, Catalyst by Mr. Sandra Morley. He has been advocating on life having more balance towards the work. Are they independent of each other? Supposing I do late nights and I have the habit of say drinks also, will it not have bearing on my work next day? Do you think I can give 100% or more than 100% which I need to give towards my work? Definitely it has a bearing. And uh, you would have gone through the Maslow's theory of hierarchy where it is from basic needs to the self-actualization. So this process you would have gone through. So if you analyze these things, now you will understand that all the uh, CEOs or the people who are high in the organization, they have one particular habit that they involve themselves into say marathon running or long distance cycling, mountaineering or golf. Why are they not involving into a team game? Say for example tennis, very rarely they do it or any other game. So, one may be due to age, the other reason is, in these kind of events, they set the goal for themselves, meaning, supposing you are driven to a success, in the organization, you are driving success all through as an individual, but as a team member, that will frustrate you and then put you down, then how to ventilate this pent up energy? So they involve into a marathon, say for example, half marathon, when they run half marathon, first time they would have run for three hours. Second time when they, when they run, they will aim to reduce the timing and the practice goes on towards it. And running every day is very different. It's not the same. Same way playing a golf, same way cycling. When they go for, in fact, they go from city to city. They travel to places. So that gives a different experience for them. And in the, in the bargain, their uh, acumen, their drive towards success is fulfilled into their personal life and when they come to the official work side, they take the role of mentorship and guiding. So the drive towards uh, getting a result as a, as a product end result, that is being seen in the process of growing people on the up the ladder. So this is so beautiful combination of these two. So work life balance has a beautiful connotation between each other and that has to be taken into uh, your, your full stride to achieve success in the working environment. I hope this video is useful to you. Just go through this and then understand the concept. In case of any doubt, you can put it in the description. I will definitely be pleased to answer it to you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.